Hey dads, are you looking for a kettle with a lifetime warranty on it? I've got one right here. We actually took it out camping too, so I have some experience with this particular kettle uh, at the campsite. So we'll talk about that today. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic reviews of the products that we like, use, and have as a family. So if you're into that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. Also, that thumbs up button is very much appreciated too. So the kettle that we have here, I was actually looking for it online the other day and I don't see it anymore. They, the brand still makes kettles, just not this particular one. This is a La Crusade kettle. Uh, so La Crusit has a lifetime warranty on all of their uh, all of their products. I've I've talked about their a pan that we have a Dutch oven that we have by them. I'll link that up right up there if you guys care to check that out if y'all want to see some of their other products. But this is the one that we got. It is very dirty. It stays on our stove all the time and it rarely gets uh, washed off. We need to wash a little more. But the majority of this mess is from the campfire. We brought, like I said at the beginning, we brought this thing camping. We were like, oh, we can just put that on the, uh, on the, uh, the campfire. There's like, you know, whenever you go camping, there's usually a ring and you put your wood all in there and then there's that rack that's, that goes on top of the wood so you can cook on top of that. And we're like, oh, let's just put this right on top of that and it should be good. Well, apparently it got all like scorched up or the paint started coming off due to that or all this brown stuff started coming onto there. I don't know what exactly happened uh, as far as, you know, scientifically what actually happened, but it definitely kind of messed up the kettle a little bit, which sucks. Uh, I, this, like I said, this does have a lifetime warranty on it, and I don't know if that type of wear and tear is covered by that La Crusit warranty. I've never took the time to use it because the kettle still functions as how we want. Um, this kettle does have a whistle on it, so it's got the little uh, little knob right there. I really like the size of this uh, uh, the pullback for the finger. Uh, it's, it's nice, good size. I can use this very easily, very easy to use uh, on the hinge there. It's got kind of that springed back hinge. Uh, then uh, you have your handle up here on the top, which is a good size, good ball. I can fit, I can fist it really well so I can get a good pour out of it. Um, then this one has a, the metal handle on the side here. It uh, kind of gives it a little bit of a bounce. I do notice that it is a little wobbly there. So uh, it's, I guess it's not as tight as it used to be. Um, and then there's the lid here, pop the lid off there. It's nice, good thick piece right here. I don't know if that's like insulation or not or what, but uh, it's hollow on the inside, but it's a good thick piece there. It's not like, you know, it's not open like uh, some of the other ones are. I wanted to look down in here to see if I could see. See this handle, it's not, I don't, I don't see a screw for it or anything, so I don't know why it's so wobbly like that. Uh, I don't know how, I don't know if that's welded into there or what, but uh, all in all, it serves its purpose. It works great as a kettle. If you guys wanna check this out, I'll link it up down in the description below. I believe that they make these in different colors for all the ladies out there. If you're buying something for your wife, if they like tea kettles, um, there's different, you know, if you have a certain color scheme that you're going for in your kitchen, you can get one that matches that. Uh, the top here does have a nice little handle on it. It does, uh, I will say this, it does get on there. It sticks on there pretty hard. So I'm gonna press down. You can hear it close. And then whenever you open it up, I kind of have to palm this, put my fingers around this and pull up. So there's a little bit of a jarring sensation there. I wish it wasn't as uh, tight, I guess you could say. But like I was saying at the beginning too, is that I don't think they make this design anymore with just this handle coming on the side here. Whenever I was looking online, I only found one that had a handle here and then it also had another connection right there. And then I think they had another one where like you could palm this and thumb the whistler at the same time. So uh, I'll link up those down in the description below if you guys care to check them out. All in all, it's been a great tea kettle. I have no complaints about it, uh, except for whenever we took it camping and it kind of got a little bit ruined. And I will say one complaint that I had that I never really thought about until I started talking is that this, this piece right here is a little wobbly and I don't know why that is. I'm kind of curious. If it was just a screw that I needed to tighten, I would do that, but I don't even see a screw on the inside. So there's no way for me to be able to fix that. I guess I could maybe try and use their lifetime warranty on there to see if that's covered underneath there because that's, I think eventually this is gonna end up breaking off if I had to guess, but that's just a, uh, 
that's just kind of a hunch. I've never had any type of uh, issue with it thus far. It's still doing its job of, of you working as a handle. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to check this out, I'll link it up down in the description below. If you guys want to watch more of the dad reviews, I'll put some more videos right there on the screen. I'd love it if you guys watch some more of our videos. If you're liking what we're doing here, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Just click that little circle right there in the middle. That way you become a subscriber and uh, you'll get some of our future videos. If there's a product that you want us to review here on dad reviews, let me know what it is down in the comments below and I'll see if I can get it for you guys. Thank y'all for watching and dad out.